Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. Playing an EIK WM France Tech G45 game with Fiscus, John Swar, and Tet Style. Um, let's take a look. So first pack, um, Couple stone house cards, groom, indentured servant. But then there's also stuff like fence overseer, there's bricklayer, there's powerhouse. I think I probably take fence overseer, and then I have a pretty good incentive to take any stone house cards. Like if groom comes back, fence overseer plus groom seems like it could be pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, otherwise. Yeah, I mean, Fence Overseer getting Groom back would honestly be a game in and of itself. Like, I wouldn't need to do too much else to have a good game. Uh, well, there's Mason's Apprentice, so yeah, I could take Mason's Apprentice just to keep everybody else from going for it. Kind of keeps people from going for the Stonehouse cards. Now... The nice thing about this is the only person who is likely to take Groom would be uh, Tet Style, who just passed me this pack. So I could let Mason's Apprentice go and still get Groom back. Now the issue with doing that is there's a chance that I'm going to be competing with the other players for the Mason, for like someone else is going to be competing with me for the Reno actions. We also saw Clay Hut Builder, we saw Clay uh, Bricklayer, so like there's lots of reasons to Reno in this game. Uh, so I think we'll just take Mason's Apprentice. If Reed Collector could come back, that would be great. Then I could focus on taking Stone. Uh, yeah. Um, well, not Fence Dealer. Milking Hand is quite good. To me, this looks like a manufacturer game. Since, uh, well, hmm. If I am gonna do my only build with Mason's Apprentice, like, and not build any wood rooms, then I can ignore wood in the early game. Focus on renovating, play manufacturer, you know, I've got some stuff to do while renovating. Alternatively, like Stone Curator for, you know, if it could be worth three points. But if I'm only going to grow with build with Mason's Apprentice, building two rooms is kind of unlikely. Yeah, I think Manufacturer here is fine. Milking Hand wouldn't be too bad either. I could do Milking Hand. I'm thinking though Stone Curator might come back. And if it does with Manufacturer, it would be a pretty strong card. Uh, you mean Tet Style might read, take the Reed Collector here? Or are you looking at a different game than I am? Oh, you're watching uh, Doe Academy. I assume Doe Academy is streaming. Rilo Kren might not even be able to hear me. Because <laughs> it sounds like you're watching a different game, but chatting in this chat room. Which is kind of funny. Uh, so the funny thing about Hill Farmer is it makes the Fence Overseer fences free if I do them really early. So I could just go for like a ridiculously early, you know, and that, that game would have liked, uh, for me to have taken, um, Milking Hand because then I'd have really early access to hold the great, hold the, uh, cattle. I've also got Burger Flipper, but I think I'd just take Hill Farmer here. Yeah, I might only do three rooms, so Hill Farmer seems pretty good. Resource Lender is not awful because I need a lot of stone, and b the ability to get an extra stone off of Reed Stone Food is relevant, very relevant.
So uh, I won't stream at the normal times this weekend. I'm, I'm still planning to stream both Saturday and Sunday, but I'm also planning to go to a couple pre-release events for Magic the Gathering. Um, yeah, I really, I think there's pretty much no justification for not taking Groom with Fence Overseer in hand. It's just like so good, so good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go um, play some Magic because it's the new the new sets coming out. So we're gonna go do some uh, probably two pre-release events, maybe three. So I'm, I will stream. I'm still planning to stream. It just might be at different times than normal. Um, there's some like fishing combos out there. I think though I take Prosecutor. Prosecutor plus Manufacturer, I could have like free guilds, which would be pretty awesome. Especially if I don't really care about Start Player. I kind of care about Start Player to get on Reedstone Food, but I'm also okay with playing Hill Farmer and just second action plowing if they don't give me anything better, because that's going to be a very efficient way to get points and food in the early game. Um... Yeah, because the only actions I really care about, I care about getting at least two clay. Probably f three or four clay, ideally. Wow, Stone Curator came back. Uh, yeah, definitely taking that card. I even could do Rancher with Hill Farmer, but that'll slow me down a little bit too much, I think. Um... Well, here is Steel Plow. That's a card. Uh, yeah, Steel Plow is just really great. I think I'd probably take it and say, who needs Hill Farmer? I mean, I can still play it, but. Yeah, it's Steel Plow. I don't really need any of these other cards. Bamboo I don't need because of Fence Overseer. Spare Fence Post, same thing. Sack Cart, I could take Sack Cart, but there's also Corn Scoop and there's Corn Rick. So we got three cards here that get grain. Probably one of them is coming back. Yeah. Also, Steel Plow works with Stone Curator. Looks pretty good. If Reno comes around five, this could be a really, really silly game. So what I'm thinking my sequence is, is I play Occupation Manufacturer, I play o Occupation Prosecutor, I Reno uh, Clay, Reno to Clay for two Clay, one Reed whenever Reno comes out, and then hopefully build a free guild because Manufacturer saves me two and Prosecutor saves me two. And then I Reno again, then following round for two stone, one reed. And again, build a free guild. And then after that, I can kind of do whatever I want. Like I obviously want to play Groom and Fence Overseer, but they gr that combo doesn't have to come out until the last four rounds of the game. Like there's no, there's no big, gonna be no big rush for that. Um, Well, if I'm going to play a couple occupations late, like Fence Overseer, Mason's Apprentice, Groom, though Stone Curator, those all kind of come late, so something like Golden Rose becomes a bit better. However, with Steel Plow, I really probably just want to do like one, maybe two plow actions total. So the odds that I'm going to want to play, have time to play Golden Rose is pretty low. Um, I think I just take Duck Pond here. Like, Duck Pond's awesome. It's a free point. Yeah. Like wood cart could be fine. The thing is, how much wood do I need for this game? I might only need seven wood total. Four for my groom, three for my steel plow. And that would be it. Assuming that I don't want to eat any wood for joinery. Yeah. Duck pond. Duck pond's great on its own too. I probably would not want to play Duck Pond before a guild, though, unless my opponents all played, like, two, had, like, one or two, at least one improvement played. Hey, Rallocran. 
So you switched over to this game, eh? I don't know if you realized you were chatting in my chat earlier, not in, uh... I assume you were watching Doe Academy. Uh... Uh, Brushwood Roof is not bad. Saves Reed for Mason's Apprentice. Saves Reed for Renovating. Uh, thing is, I really want to get on Reedstone Food, and I want to get on Reedstone Food twice, and that's all the read that I need, might potentially need. Like, I could do a two, two, uh, two room only game, and probably have it be efficient enough. Now, normally I wouldn't seriously consider that unless I also had, like, Cowboy and Mother, but I might have an, have an efficient enough game in a late family growth game. Um, otherwise... I don't know, like flower pots. I don't really want to play flower pots, especially not before, you know, duck pond. But if it's free, you know, it could be fine. Couldn't get it to switch streams. Interesting. Uh, I think this is definitely. Uh, I got. I would seriously consider taking Paved Road on the rebound here, though, because Paved Road with Prosecutor, if it saves me two stone. Uh, four points activate stone curator and it denies i saw a clay path right i'm pretty sure i just pat i passed clay path in my first pack like oh that could be pretty nasty alternatively something like chocolate uh i do have a bunch of uh occupations that i would like to play after i grow like could or after i build when it gets a stone so getting food for those could be good i think we'll just take flower pots here uh, you know what? No flower pots. I like chocolate. I like chocolate a lot. Oh man. It just could be so good for fence overseer, groom, stone curator. Like I'm pretty sure that I want to play all three of those. All right. I think I've talked myself into this. Uh, so taking a passing miner here is kind of appealing because it doesn't increase my plate occupation count for prosecutor. The alternatives are really like B statue. And you know what? B statue gives two stone, which is not atro atrocious. And especially if I'm not going to start player much, then, you know, having access to that could be pretty good. Don't really think I need read exchange. I already explained why earlier. Um... Didn't we see Golden Rose? We did see Golden Rose. Oh, Golden Rose for guest? Yeah. Yeah. Although the odds that I'm going to have a sown crop are pretty low, I think. Not until the end of the game. Because I got Steel Plow. So... Uh, yeah... I could take guest here. Guest is fine. Though I could take B statue. You know what? B statue is kind of like get my uh, damage control card. If things are not going right, if I don't get on readstone food at all, I might just be taking day labor a lot. Then B statue is probably fine. Yeah, I don't need bamboo. Don't need spare fence posts. We'll take corn scoop here. Corn Scoop should probably save me one action throughout the game. Because instead of having to take green twice, I'll just take green once. Take green once and then take vegetable, boom. There's, you know, reasonable crop points right there. Very, very quickly, very efficiently. Take a look at these games really quick. So this one, this game's kind of fun. I have Manservant, I have Stonecutter, and I have uh, Stonehouse Extension in hand. I also have Groom. So this game is actually like pretty similar to the one that I'm playing. Uh, although I have Private Forest. Private Forest is pretty excellent, getting me a wood to make my fencing easier. And I have the ability to start player Stonehouse Extension kind of as a surprise. I don't know when I took it don't remember I don't know how many players of other players have seen it but yeah I've got the milking hand I've got Lord of the Manor like Lord of the Manor with groom seems pretty good 
then I just want to make sure I hit like five fields ideally which will take a lot of work a lot of plows but in this set normally someone plays Harrow So this game I have field watchman and clay supports and I also have ladder and but I mean I got a three read action at a pretty good time so I don't really need the ladder right now. Um, it would be nice for playing my chicken coop but I need to just focus on getting my action getting my uh, growth done and actually why did this guy first action build it's uh, annoying. If no one can stable block me I'll have the option to uh, start player but I feel like this guy might stable block me well depend on how much food he has I guess yeah because the person immediately in front of me is growing next round so oh church warden I missed that waiting on Tet style this one this game's going pretty well this is with Sandswall so Sandswall don't look <laughs> or, or, or jump ahead 30 seconds uh yeah i got head of the family i got village elder i although uh, unusually normally with head of the family i'm looking to build two rooms but i only built one room and i'm just kind of waiting for family growth even without room to come out and in fact since well even passed me clay hut extension but i'm just really not interested in playing it I, I want to increase my plate occupation count or plate improvement count for village elder. I also really want to just get a ton of wood so I get my fencing done. I have um, shepherd's croc and loom so I could do like very easily make loom be worth at least three like three points uh, which could be pretty good. Uh, yep. And last one. Oh yeah, this game is going really well. I have Animal Pen, I have Village, I have Well Builder. I'm going to get the third family growth in round eight and build the well with that action, which is pretty excellent. Uh, I'm gonna Adoptive Parents. Uh, I'm gonna build more rooms for sure because I have Mason and then I have Conservator to skip my Clay Reno. I have Riding Plow, so I should have lots and lots of points. So. Okay, this one, I don't really want any of these. Like, I like I, I only need like 8, 9 wood, so wood card is not worth it. Wooden crane might be worth playing just for the stone, but I don't know. It's pretty marginal. I don't know how many times I'm... Like, how often can you actually afford to pay f food to get an extra stone? Pretty rarely, right? Yeah, it's just so expensive too, like three wood. Ugh. Ugh. I'd rather just, you know, let the stone get one higher and take it around later, you know. So I think we'll take wild breeding here. Oh, he said BRB, I didn't realize. I missed that. And then we'll take paved road here. We're going to really make someone sad. Yeah, this game could be pretty interesting. It, it, honestly, it's going to depend on how many times we get Reedstone food in the first in stage one. Like, if we get Reedstone food twice for relatively little work, then this game could be really good. But if we're forced to into three wood and occup and occupation actions we don't want, that could also be really sad. So we start in second, best position to start in. Actually, this game, it would be better, way better for me to start in first, guarantee read stone food in stage one. But uh, there's a chance Tet Style plays an occupation. And if they play an occupation and I get read stone food, that would be the best start possible. For sure. For sure. Reedstone food. That happens. Um, we could play Hill Farmer here and second action plow because honestly, this board is pretty meh. Uh, I could take two clay into Spee Statue <laughs> if I really wanted to <laughs> screw around. Uh, 
Yeah, this this board is kind of gross. Uh, let's start with yeah. Let's start with Hill Farmer. We probably want to play it at some point, anyways. And it, I mean, maybe I take two clay ahead of plowing. Like I could do that as well. Because I two clay for B statue, two clay for my Reno. You know, I can use two clay. I could also think about growing, like building a regular room and then going up to stone. That's an option. Oh, charcoal burner, damn. I wonder what the win percentage with B statue. <laughs> it's just hard to make work. Like two clay, no points, and then like the it makes the day labor action quite nice, but you have to already want to go on it. Like I mean I probably really want clay pit and um and like the play an improvement on day labor card before I actually want to play B statue. Oh yeah, hey, I'm playing Hill Farmer against Charcoal Burner again. Cocot, yeah, thank you. If I have field watch, <laughs> we'll just plow. I don't want two wood. Uh, who needs two wood? Yeah, I played charcoal burner in that match. So, uh, John Swar, we were talking about. Fiscus mentioned that I cheated with, uh, he was like, oh, I was in the game where you cheated with uh, Peace Worker. And I was like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. And so we were talking about it with John Swore. And then now he's saying, gonna cheat with Phil Hill Farmer again? And you know what? Someone in that game had Charcoal Burner as well. So Hill Farmer against Charcoal Burner. Although I don't have Field Watchman in hand this time. That was a pretty good game. John Swore, spare fence post. Excellent. Played improvement. Yes. That's what the prosecutor wants to see. <laughs> oh, this was one of his first two picks. Well, I'm glad I didn't pass Mason's Apprentice. Can you imagine? I'm never getting to stone if I pass Mason's Apprentice. Oh, jeez. People love this card. They love, 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 love this card. I guess it enables some strategies that require a certain number of Reedstone food plays. Yeah. Well, I get Reedstone food here, so that makes me very happy. I don't know, have I ever drafted Stonehouse Builder, guys? I feel like it's been more than a year.
Okay, Reed Collector here for Fiskist. There's a lot of way to get around Reed in this game. Stonehouse Builder, Reed Collector, Brushwood Roof. Ted Styles building the fireplace, triggers the charcoal burner. It's also a plate improvement. Uh, probably just two Reed here, right? Two read and then maybe I get two stone in round six or whatever. In case I don't get another read action. Ah oh, man, we need to get this food out of here. Get this food out of here. Man, someone's gonna be really unhappy if I play paved road. Pretty crazy that my fence overseer groom combo could gain me fence gain me food with hill farmer if I'm still on a two wood root two uh, stone house two room house man I wish I had lighthouse or something lighthouse grotto grotto would have been amazing for this game buy my stone man these guys are passing me uh, readstone food again so if I get readstone food into four clay that's that's a great round for me. And if three clay comes back, I guess I would probably improve bit play an occupation before. I'd play maybe prosecutor before I play anything else. Because I can probably get four clay in round four. Usually there's a lot of stuff to do in round four, and four clay gets passed around a lot. Usually. Whew. <sighs> I haven't played with Ted Style in a while. I was saying to John's War, we haven't played in like more than a year. He's been around he's been around a long time. Probably about as long as I have. Not quite. March twenty ten. But I but we played many, many a game in like twenty twelve, twenty thirteen especially. Did I cast a game with him? I think I casted a game with him as well. It's been a while since we did the France Deck Tournament. Was that like 2013, 2014? Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, Occupation looks good here. Play Prosecutor because it kind of hides my hand a little bit. Doesn't t doesn't t tip my hand quite as heavily that I'm going for a uh, Reno Strat. Think Fiscus probably takes food here. Yeah, yeah, he does. So yeah, first action, Reedstone food if it comes to me, but otherwise, four clay is great. If I can get four clay into manufacturer, that'd be a pretty good round. And Reedstone food becomes easier to get in stage two because the accumulation actions get better and people need more food than one at a time, generally. All right, so Stone Carver. So here's the reason behind the Reedstone food play. Well, not really, but <laughs> just because it's fine. But yeah, Stone Carver. So it's a read and four. F Once per harvest, it's a read and four food for him. So that's a great action space. And it's unblockable. All right, no read stone food. We'll grab four clay. Four clay into manufacturer, four clay into three wood. Either of those would be fine. Be nice if Fiscus could build a cooking hearth here. It'd be a plate improvement. Yeah, the nice thing about Prosecutor is when people family growth, 
and I'm planning to family growth late, if at all, then uh, they're pushing themselves further ahead in the plate improvement count. Problem is, if I hit Renault round five and nobody's family growth yet, that impacts my prosecutor. Although I can't complain too much, I definitely want to see family growth come out later rather th rather than earlier. The earlier Renault comes out probably makes a pretty big difference for my game. So, Charles War builds the first room. Makes sense. Pet style, maybe an occupation, maybe takes the sheep. They have to be a little careful. Yeah, I would, probably for safety's sake, I might take the sheep here. Uh, but you could take four food, I don't know. He's gonna play, start playing grain elevator. Okay, so that's pretty safe. Also, wow, there's a lot of stuff in this game. Grain elevator. And you know what? The charcoal burner is going to like that. Going to like seeing that. I could take four food here. Or I could take two reed. Or I could plow. I could play manufacturer here. Um... Yeah, I think I like Manufacturer here. Because if Renault comes round five, I want I really just want to take Renault action. Renault and and you know what? There'll be like four wood available next round, four clay, three reed, five food. So there's gonna be other stuff that I'm happy to do next round. Viscous builds a cooking hearth. Yep. So Tetstyle now. If family growth comes around five, Tetstyle has to take the sheep ahead of building. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, that's really excellent. Really excellent. Uh, so I think what I do, I could, the, the one thing I could do is if I take four clay, I could build a clay room because I did get quite a bit of reed. So I could reno and then clay room and then reno to stone. Yeah, this is an excellent this is an excellent roll for me. Really excellent roll. Taking the four wood would be good too, but I think the four clay just makes it so that I can build a clay room and then I lose out a bit on the hill farmer. Uh, but I mean the fence overseer and groom pays for itself and I've got two stone already. I would only need one more and my feeding should be okay and I can grow like family growth and build a joinery or whatever seems pretty good. Yeah, obviously I need actions. I did if I got cowboy and mother I'd consider not building but especially if if John's War sits on the start player space then build like building is just going to be really good because I'll get family growth third. That stall took the sheep. Yep, smart by Fiscus to force him into that position. But you know what? I might even take four wood here ahead of building. That is an option. This does build. All right. This is forces John Swore to start player with this move, which means Ted Style might get four wood back. So four sheep and four wood is a pretty excellent round. Nope, John Swore is declining to start player hmm interesting 
Maybe he doesn't have any improvements he wants to play. Maybe figures gambling that family growth is round six is not worth it. I don't know. The gain, the gain you get off of not taking start player here, it, I'm pretty dubious about it. If family growth is round seven, it can be great, but I don't know. Maybe he thought three wood was going to come back. I don't know. Uh, so we'll build the basket makers workshop here. The pottery is the only other thing that's really potentially contested. So this is a free basket makers workshop because I save uh, save four. So this is pretty excellent, I have to say. Pretty cool start. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is a very cool start. Yeah, Fetzer Overseer is a great card. The only reason its power isn't higher is because there aren't a lot of ways of making stables cheap in EIK. And WM added... What did WM add? Ways of building stables in WM. You know what? I actually can't think of any. G-Deck added Stable Delivery Men. But people don't play with... Oh, no, WM has Stable Delivery Men. Or is that in G-Deck? If I had Scholar B statue, it would definitely come out. <laughs> yeah, if I had Scholar, everything would come out. Um, okay, I, this is going to bother me now. I need to know which deck... Uh, Stable delivery man. It's WM and then Master Stableman and then Racing Stable Manager. Oh uh, yeah, Master Stableman, okay, yeah. And then Racing Stable Manager. France also had France had another my uh something else which helps you build stables, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Fred's deck had Animal Husband. No, not Animal Husbandry. Fred's deck has that card where you fence and stable the same action. So that might be classified as like a stable card, kind of, because it encourages you to build stables. Fiscus says Bricklayer. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> that is actually quite hilarious. Whoa. So John Swar had the opportunity to start player with his second move there and decline to do so that's crazy well i'm gonna first action build a room now unless i guess ted style will build yeah ted style should build i guess but yeah definitely building a room this is looking great this is looking really great there's six food on traveling players so probably take that So Groom needs to be out by round 10. Groom and Fence Overseer out by round 10. Otherwise, I can really do whatever I want. Because, yeah, this is going to be dumb. All right. Uh, yeah, six food seems pretty good. Let's take that. I could read stone food. I do really like read stone food. But six food is great. It's great. Wow, this is a pretty excellent... Uh, that worked out very nicely for Fiscus. Gets to play his flower pots for free with Bricklayer. Not bad. Not bad. Ted style setting up to have a breeding pair of sheep. Can take two sheep next round. Interestingly, two sheep is no better than three sheep, but... I mean, three sheep and two sheep both might get taken by Fiscus. Fiscus needs food. So yeah, Tetzdal has to be kind of careful about what he does. He might have to first action take the sheep. 
Would to set up stable play? Uh, yeah, probably. Three wood is fine. Three wood with my second action. Ted Style's got Seed Cellar. So he's going to have access to quite a bit of grain over there. Um, I could read Stone Food. It gets me my third stone. The third stone might be very relevant for uh, renovating to a stone house. Um, it kind of depends if I want to eat my reed or not. The thing is, if I don't take the stone here, I have a feeling I get a four wood action next round. Thing is, if I don't take three wood here, what action do I want early in round in the next round? I don't really care about anything. I don't really want any more clay. I guess I'll just take three wood. Yeah, I should take three wood when you can. Usually a good move. I don't love giving reedstone food to my opponents because it makes them more likely to build stone improvements, but yeah. Could also have triggered hill farmer there, like plowed or something. Man, Tetzel's gonna get five grain with one action. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares if you only have a fireplace? Like <laughs> that's eight. That's you know two green and six food, with a bake action. Corn rick here. Well, if John's War doesn't start player, I will start player and play pottery and force them to stable block me. If I didn't already have Basket Maker's Workshop, John's War would be really nicely set up for it. But I've already built the Basket Maker's Workshop, so haha. -ha. If we get four wood, great. If not, I think reedstone food into uh, building a room, probably. Yeah, because after we've built a room, then we can reno to stone and uh, build the pottery, which we would like to do. Yeah, and build a room should come back. Can't imagine John Swart builds here. He has the resources for it, but like, why would he? Because I'm pretty sure I still get to go in ahead of him. Sam Fold, subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, enjoy spamming. Play Agwell. And uh, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. Uh, it really... Like I've said, it really motivates me when you guys do that kind of thing. I'll grab four wood since four wood's available. I can get stone later. Like three stone next round would be pretty good. Thanks. Thanks, Sam Folds. Yeah, Twitch Prime is awesome. All the streamers I, I watch love talking about how good Twitch Prime is. And I have to say, all my subs so far have been with Twitch Prime, so I get it, you know? It makes a lot of sense. Uh, John Swar, what's he going to do here? Oh, I should show Sack Cart. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Love this card. What a card. What a card. So much grain for so little work. The timing also is often really, really nice. Uh, okay, so John Swart might... No, he can't first action pottery. Yeah, okay. What am I thinking? He's never going to first action pottery. I might I might need to first action pottery next round. Which is fine. I'm not too worried if that's the case. Uh, 
Yeah, because if I don't first action pottery, John Swar might second action pottery. I'll have to guess. See what the board's like next round. See what minor he plays. If he plays a minor that costs clay, then of course it's less likely. Or if he does something like take grain. Yeah, pretty good. That's a... Only six. Only six grain with one move. Uh, you know what? If I build a room here, Ted Style should pass me six wood. But I don't really need six wood. I guess it helps me build the joinery. And uh, I will uh, not eat a reed. Feed six. Or feed four. Um, or should I eat a reed? I guess I want to play occupations. Thing is, if I eat a reed, I have to get reed stone food before I ran out of stone. If I don't eat a reed, I can take like three stone and then pay stone for the joinery. Or keep the stone to Mason's Apprentice room. Or keep the stone for well, paved road. Uh, I guess I like Reedstone food as an action pretty much intrinsically, but I'm not likely to take it next round. Yeah, I think I'm pretty likely to reno in round 9 maybe, so... I think I don't need a read here. I'll have the... I should have the pottery for next round as well, so... And I mean, if Ted Style takes six wood ahead of start player, be my guest. I would be so thrilled if that would be the case. I'd be so happy to start player pottery into family growth joinery. That would be the best. Just the best. Now he's going to play start player guest. That makes sense. They're going to pass me the guest. Well, I think I risk my pottery a little. But I think it's worth it to take six wood. Uh, are you playing chocolate on Family Growth for Overseer or Duck Pond? I think I'd probably play Joinery Pottery on Family Growth. Or are you talking about... I guess I can play that on Start Player and Reno, and then Family Growth I can play Duck Pond or... Or chocolate. Yeah, I see. Um, I'm not sure. I think both would be fine. I could have taken three stone there. Maybe I should have taken... Maybe taking three stone was the right move. Hmm... I maybe sh was supposed to take three stone there. Because then my second action can be Reno Improvement instead of whatever it's going to be. I pass Fiscus the Well. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure what the right play was. I mean, six wood is good, but what, it, like, six wood, mm, I guess it lets me pay wood for the joinery, and it lets me turn wood into food. It's probably, like, two wood and, and you know, six or eight food. It's probably something like that. Because I do need wood for steel plow and corn scoop. But the thing is, those cards might be really cheap with my prosecutor, so. Uh, oh, man. John Swore just took clay again. Thank you, John Swar. That means I get the pottery back. Excellent. So I start player pottery into... So my next round should be start player pottery into Reno, um, Reno Stone. So I'm actually going to miss out on one possible groom action. Because I just don't have enough moves here. Which may be... Which maybe is why I should have taken stone instead of taking six wood. 
I think the six wood is going to now cost me. It's going to mean that I have to spend an action to go on build room and build a stable now. Which is kind of a pain. But hey, there are worse things that could have happened. That's for sure. Fiscus could take two clay and then Reno pottery or Reno uh, well if he wanted to. But his first move was plow, sure. Yeah, I could play Duck Pond or I could play Chocolate. I mean, Chocolate gives me more food. Duck Pond gives me a point. I mean, probably both are going to get played. Uh, actually, that might not be true. I might prefer to play Corn Scoop and Steel Plow and Paved Road. Yeah, maybe Duck Pond is the way to go. I could also start player guest. Start player guest doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't increase my plate occupation or plate improvement count. I have the food with Basque Maker's Workshop. Passing me market stall. I guess when you're picking up six six food with one action or six grain with one action. Market stall becomes a bit better, eh? Alright, start player, pottery, definitely doing that now. And it's free again because I save four resources. So I could stone house and play guest. And if I stone house reno and play guest, I will have three actions in round 10. And then I could fence overseer, groom, and then uh, family growth, joinery. Do I have enough food to do that? I'd have to eat a pot, or eat a clay, and a reed this harvest. But yeah, I can do it. Okay, I kind of like that idea. Um, it's unlikely the joinery will get taken, so... Yeah, it seems like a pretty safe move. Yep, I like that idea. So get gain an action next round. Oh, you know what? Am I going to be one food short? So if I plague the guest here, then I need to eat a food and a reed. That's four. So I'll have two food only to play improvements with. Or to play occupations with. So I would have to family growth chocolate and then play the uh, fence overseer or whatever. I would prob probably play groom first, move, second action, family growth, chocolate, third action, um, play fence overseer. That works. Aside from manufacturer, what's the card that lets me save two resources on guilds? Yeah, prosecutor. So prosecutor says as long as you have fewer improvements than two or th um, two other players, you save one resource on improvements. As long as it, you have fewer played improvements than three, you save two. So because I had one and they all were at two at minimum, then um, I get to save two resources from the prosecutor. I'll uh, bring that card up again. It's a France deck card. I like it. Um, it's kind of weird. It kind of forces you to do weird things, which any card that forces you to do weird things is usually not great because, you know, it forces you to do stuff that's suboptimal generally, and usually when you do stuff that's suboptimal, there's another player in the game who's benefiting from you doing that. Like, if, for example, if I didn't take the six wood there and took the three stone, obviously Fiscus is a huge winner in that scenario. Do I care about an extra proc of Groom? Uh, well, you know what? I'll do the guest play either way, and then I can decide next round whether I care or not. And I assume Prosecutor can only save me 
building resources. Yes, it does not save me food. Clay and a read to five food and feed four. So net plus one food. And here's my guess that I just played. So it gains me an action next round. So John's War probably builds rooms here, which forces me to first action grow. So if I first action grow, I could play Chocolate, and then I could play Groom, and then I could play Fence Overseer. And then round 10, I would have the food and the wood to do the Groom, activate the Fence Overseer. My round 11 would just be about getting enough food for that harvest, namely take a couple Reed, take a couple Clay, probably play Joinery as well. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I did see that card. Two food per round, pretty nice. You're welcome. John's gonna be my servant. I guess I'm paying you. Guess I'm paying him, right? Paying him two food per round. <laughs> Or I, I should say he's generating two foods worth of value with his specialty. Because isn't the economy lovely? Because he's creating two food that would not have been there otherwise. Also, we've had a couple cooking hearth upgrades already. Always great for charcoal burner. I guess only Tet style. But yeah, the well's still not gone, which is confusing. The well should be gone. Also, playing chocolate is kind of sad because it makes the joinery a lot more expensive for me. But hey, that happens. I mean, I have more than enough wood. It's not like I care about pay paying two wood for the joinery. Interestingly, no one built there. Very interesting. So I guess they all are thinking, if I build this round, I don't have to start player to grow in round 11. So that means there's no pressure on me to family growth with this move. So I could first action do anything, like first action play groom, for example. And I'll still use the food. I've got stone curator that definitely is gonna wanna get played, so. I think paying the food here is fine. Second action, family growth chocolate. Third action, fence overseer. And honestly, it's probably GG when I play fence overseer. I mean, John Sawyer has got a nice game. Looks like he might go up to five rooms. So if he's got mansion and gets out fin mansion relatively efficiently, then that's obviously huge. Ooh, Fiscus plays Golden Rose here. Uh, probably means... Well, I guess I did just pass him Guest. So he could play Guest at a cost of zero now. John Swore... I would like John Swore to not build rooms. If he could not build, that would be awesome. I mean, Fiscus might build... There's a chance he doesn't. Like with Bricklayer, you kind of would like to do clay rooms. I don't know. This is a hard this is a hard decision actually. This is a really hard decision. Six clay would be great, five reed would be although five reed's not as good now that Basket Maker's workshop's gone. I don't know. I don't know what the I guess I I would probably build a room here. I guess that's probably the right move. 
Because you never know what Fiscus is going to do. Fiscus might have... Oh, you know what? He probably... He might have taken um, that uh, stable... That uh, fences card. That you can only build 12 fences guy. But the ones you build are at half price. Oh, wow. John's going to fence. Well, I'm happy to see that. Really happy to see that. Oh, you know what? I have to family growth anyways. So it doesn't matter. I need fail. I need a. Uh, um, I need room to come back an extra time, or occupation to come back an extra time. This is like really telegraphing that I have another occupation to play, but ah, that's okay. Fiscus does build a room. Interesting. Interesting. And he does it that round. Uh, he does it the action immediately after I family growth, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Okay, come on, guys. Give me occupation. Give me occupation. I mean, Chotsworth might take six clay and then Reno fireplace. Or six clay and rental clay oven. Although I guess he doesn't can't afford clay oven right now. Certainly looks like John Swear wants to reno and then build a clay room. Put it that way. Man, I can't believe that one Boitager game. I can't believe with head of the family I got past clay hut extension and I'm not planning to build it. That's highly irregular all right only one more action show me no occupation come on come on come on ted style come on you don't want to play an occupation yes all right well that's gonna be pretty awesome hey sansol I was just talking about how uh, you passed me in our one Boitage game. You, you passed me the uh, Clay Hut extension. And I have. Uh, oh, I'm not. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to show it. I was just tabbing over it. Honestly, I'm not even going to show the cards. Like. What F for stable and fences plus F hill farmer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, all right. So remaining goals for this game, build the joinery, get enough food for the next harvest. Uh, yeah. Otherwise we're walking on sunshine. If I could get a lot of stone, I mean, if I could get a lot of stone, I could build another room. The room is worth something with Mason's Apprentice, or not with Mason's Apprentice so much, but the wood, it, the room is worth something for Stone Curator, because it gets me to four instead of three, of course. Uh, but I think probably focusing on Steel Plow and playing Paved Road is just going to be better value. Yeah, it's going to be faster. I would like to see John Swar and Ted Style play more improvements. Because I want to save, I want my prosecutor to do a little more than the two, the four resources it's been so far. Usually like it to be a bit more than that. But yeah, this combo is gross. Groom plus fence overseer with this game. I've already got hill farmer, like, oof, oof, it's a spicy game. And you know what? I have tons of minor improvements to play. I'm so I would be so happy to sit on start player for the rest of the game. Duck pond, steel plow, corn scoop. Yeah. In fact, I probably first action start player here. First action start player corn scoop seems pretty good. Because then I can take grain with my second action, and then if if uh, round twelve is plow sow, I can take two cattle. 
and then hope that start player comes back so that I can play steel plow to get family gr uh, to get plow so round thirteen. Yeah, I don't really want plow so until steel plow is out, but I really want family growth. If family growth is round twelve, that would be that would be so good. Insert that you know that okay meme where the guy's doing the okay sign. Yeah, be pretty good. John's got riding plow. Okay. That's a good one. That helps him cover up his farm. I mean, there's three stone and six reed available. Like, I could definitely Mason's Apprentice a room. <sighs> and you know what? I like playing more miners, and building more rooms means more miners. I guess I like taking two sheep, don't I? Two sheep is four points here, so that's a pretty good move. Uh, John Swore might take it. Although, he might want a reno. Hard to say what John will do. I thought John was going to build for sure, but then he ended up fencing, so... I guess with Riding Plow, go for the, you know, pretty farm makes a lot of sense. Fiscus takes the sheep. Okay. No sheep. Maybe I should have risked the reed and taken the sheep. I don't know. If I get two sheep in round 12, 13, then it's like same number of points, right? And John Sword does grab the stone. So are we going to finally see the well get built? Oh, it's been driving me crazy that it's still available. Is Tetstyle going to play a well here? Come on. I guess four wood's available. Hard to pass on four wood. Tetstall's gonna clay up okay, yeah, clay oven, sure. With he needs the food and with his five food five grain action, six grain action. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Should I take two stone? Because reed stone food is nice. It's one stone for steel plow. I guess the stone for paved road is only worth anything if I'm going to actually play paved road. Which there's no guarantee of that. So I think I reed stone food here and then take one vegetable. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I need more food. What am I doing? I'm asleep at the wheel here, guys. I need to take clay. Or I need to build the joinery. I need to build the joinery. I guess I needed that one food anyways, because I do need the seventh food to pay for Fence Overseer next round. But uh, I could have also taken clay with that move. Taking clay... Three clay, six food. Uh, I don't know. Having the stone for steel plow seems like a good idea. There's so much wood available. This is gross. This is gross. I guess this is what happens when only... Three players build wood rooms. Only four wood rooms built so far. Bamboos inserting more wood. Charcoal burner a ton more. Spare fence posts. Although that hasn't been used yet. Alright, we'll build the joinery. Pay two wood. No, we have to pay more than that. 
uh, uh, we have to pay, yeah, two wood for the joinery. We'll save two stone. I would F for feed six, and then minus a foot, minus a wood for a stable, and food for fencing, get the food back from Hill Farmer. Oh man, they're gonna pass me two cattle. It's gonna be pretty difficult not to take two cattle here. I guess I can start player in round 13, but that's playing a lot more risky. It's There's no guarantee that I would get it, even a plow action, because if Fiscus start players and plow sows and John Swore uses his riding plow for the second time, then that would be a potentially game move game losing error. But there's also a chance that these guys don't want to play played improvements. These guys haven't been playing a lot of miners. They've been doing a lot of passing miners. So I think this is an okay risk here, taking these two cattle. I think the risk is acceptable. And no one knows about steel plow as well, so. Of course, Fiscus is going to immediately start player here. <laughs> uh, well, just so long as John Swore doesn't start player. Here's the guest again. That darn guest has gotten all the way around. Oh, and also here's Fence Dealer. So it got all the way to Ted style, which is interesting. I think the card's pretty good. But I guess people didn't need it. Yeah, Charcoal Burner, you figure, oh, I'm going to have lots of wood. So John Swore probably plows here, but maybe two bore. If he plows, I'll take the two bore myself. Yeah, because I think it's unlikely Tet Style takes the two boar. Doesn't have room for them. Doesn't need the food. I could take three stone and then Mason Mason's Apprentice build, but I don't, uh, I'm not crazy about that line. We're really hoping to get four stone next round. Which with the well, you think, why don't you just take three stone and build the well? Which, hey, that's that's a pretty good, pretty valid argument there. I should just take two, three stone and build the well. But I'll take the boar first. The boar three points directly, whereas the uh, stone take a second action. So. Maybe I play a uh, major minor steel plow for my last move. Although I would kind of like to start player steel plow just for the surprise factor. I guess the reason I'm thinking, the reason I'm thinking of major minor steel plow is in the event that John Swore so I'm pretty sure we're gonna see Fiscus plow so got four family members obviously Plowso is a nice move for him might see him Plowso. Uh so then I think John Swore probably family gross again that would be my guess he also might start player because Plowso would be really good for him in round 13 so if he start players then Ted style would have the choice between plow and family growth probably takes family growth so then there's a chance that plow comes to me with the fourth action and that if I don't plow there, I'm not going to get another chance for a while. Or for maybe even for the rest of the game. So I feel like showing steel plow obviously is not great. But I think I need to do it here. Would obviously much rather do that on start player. But there's a chance that I get plow passed to me. And I mean, plow is just as good as plow so for me right now because I have no crops on my farm. So 
do my groom combo. Yeah, I feel like I might lose to John Swar just because he's gotten like every good action in this game. Like yeah. He got that three stone. He's gotten a lot of like nice clay moves. Riding plow is obviously a fantastic card. Yeah, John might first action start player. So if John first action start players, then Test Style should family growth, which means I get plow. So that's good. Okay, that works. Yeah. So that means I get plow no matter what in round 14 of Tet Style Star Players. And if Tet Style Family Grows, I start player. So that works fine. Um, we'll play. I could play Wild Breeding here for two points. Or, or I could play Duck Pond. Or I could play Corn Scoop. Corn Scoop is two points, assuming I get on the one grain space. If I don't get on the one grain space, then it's not two points. Um, it actually might be negative points because of the wood. Yeah, wild breeding sounds good. Get a sheep. So then I want to take vegetable. Take a veg, take a grain. Man, I need actions. I just need a bunch of actions. I'm gonna run out. My action quality has been extremely high, but I just don't have enough of them. Cause I'll be able to take like a pretty good, pretty good clay move. I'll try to avoid eating reed in the last harvest, but if I do, it's only one point. Wood, I probably have to eat wood twice more, so I would I could take pick up wood for a couple points. Yeah. Well I definitely need to Yeah, because I'm gonna pay a wood for groom. So yeah, I need a bunch more wood. So I probably need to take clay uh clay here actually. I think I need the extra food for this harvest. Yeah, so clay is like a point and four food, which is fine. Ideally, I would like better actions than that. I would like, you know, three point actions for picking up seven clay or whatever, but I guess it's not really realistic. There we go, finally. At long last. Yes. Mine and Papin, you're quicker than me. And you're on stream delay too. <laughs> John builds the well at long last. Where's Sam Folds? I want to see his play, play egg well. Yes, capital W. And then you got it. You got to do a capital W. It's uh, case sensitive. Yes, there we go. <laughs> that style plays. Cooking corner. Good card. Uh, vegetables, three points here. I also need the clay. Does anyone else need the clay? Somebody wants to build a cooking hearth. Also, this is another proc for the charcoal burner. Gross. 
That charcoal burner has been really good. Uh, you know what? No one wants vegetable here. Clay should be safe to take. Yeah, clay seems like it might be more contested. And I need the food, so... So yeah, Mason's, uh, sorry, Stone Curator is three points. Family Growth is three points. I guess Family Growth is potentially only two points if I have to eat an extra point, but I got a bunch of points here. I could do a two point, I could do two moves for the paved road, but probably not. Probably that's not going to be worth it. It's two moves for four points, which is okay. Maybe Claypath wasn't in the game, and I'm thinking of some other game. Like, did I have Claypath in one of my Boitejo games? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, getting it confused. So yeah, Cooking Corner is awesome. Free two points, and your vegetables convert even better than they did before. Like veg It's just ridiculously good eating vegetables once you have a Cooking Corner. Take the vegetable, three points here. Yeah, it makes sense. R, C, wood, two, seven, food, and then breed. Oh, obviously I get net plus one food there. And then wood for my groom stuff. And I do want to build it over here because then if I want to do an extra pasture, that's only two. So, And it's food neutral with fence overseer, of course. So yeah, there we go. Fiscus has burger flipper. Are we going to see him burger flip and play bilking hand at the end here? If he gets to a stone house, Fiscus probably wins. Playing a mostly normal game, which is smart. I should play normal games more often. How do I not play this groom combo, right? After I've been past it? Like, there's just no way. No way I can refuse it. F. Hill Farmer. So that was a bunch of points. Three, five, seven, nine, ten. Ten point move. Maybe 11 if the food's worth something. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I guess these guys, like, John Swartz's point ceiling is also kind of low. Like, I have some exposed uh, spaces, but I have more pastures than he does. He, of course, has better crop score, but I have a better animal score. Fiscus. Uh, Fiscus has a pretty nice game. Got a couple improvement points, you know, much better crops. He's got all three types of animals, got four pastures, you know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. We just took first action fishing. Whoa. Well, he's obviously got uh, milking hand. I can think of no other reason why you would do that. Fence dealer. That's I couldn't think of the name earlier. Fence dealer. Is the uh, this guy? Oh, 
Well, six wood is probably a three point move. And then stone curator is a three point move. So looks good. Looks good. Are there any end of the game occupations that I need to be afraid of? Can't think of any off the top of my head. So I need to feed six again. So eating a wood and a clay doesn't cost me any points. So that's good. I can keep the reed. So I mean this is going to be an okay scoring farm. I've got a couple negatives. I don't have that many family members. That's that's a pretty big negative. Only being at three family members. Because that's six points. Difference between three and five. That's big. That's big. Why does John Swear have five clay and two, three reed on his farm? <laughs> I was so sure he was going to use this to like build more rooms and stuff. Although I'm feeling less uh, intimidated of Fiscus if his first move was fishing. I have to say. He would like to sow bake here, I gotta imagine. So bake looks really quite good. Late family growth can do that. Uh, hey, well, oh, don't kill me. First game I've seen in a long time where Duck Pond goes unplayed. Yeah, Duck Pond and uh, Prosecutor and Manufacturer. <laughs> but yeah, Duck Pond's awesome. But I mean, Chocolate was really specific in that I needed the food immediately in order to be able to play Groom and Fence Overseer in the same round. So that's what happened there. Yeah, Fiscus did so for a bunch of food. Well, there's going to be no four-room stone house, so that's good for me. That's really good for me. As long as Constable doesn't come out. Yeah, I guess I should have taken Guest, drafted Guest Day, eh? because Guest has gotten played, all four of us have played Guest, it's gotten all its way, its whole way around the table. So I mean, that's another resource I could have saved maybe, which might have been relevant. I don't know. Honestly, might still win, I'm not sure. I think Fiscus is probably beating me by like two or three, maybe two points, but I'm not totally sure about that one. That's free with my chocolate. Then I eat a wood, a clay, and two food. Can somebody actually hit Constable? I guess probably not, eh? Maybe Fiscus could stable and then Constable, but yeah, you're right. You're right. No one's really close. I, I j always just see that kind of... Uh, Generically, I don't ever, I don't usually actually seriously consider about the possibility, which I guess I should be. All right, so three point stone curator. So I have whatever I score plus three, and that's it for me. Let's take a look. 47. That's not bad. Considering how good the groom fence overseer combo is probably could have done better but it might be enough for the win yeah you know what it probably is because these guys don't have any bonus points wow i guess i'm just expecting i'm just looking at this and saying this is an ugly game like i don't really like it that much you know look at this farm but i guess this farm you know it has a five point joinery three point pottery it has a five point basket makers workshop the only negatives are spaces and crop and grain. Yeah. 
Can you imagine if I like was able to grow more? Can you imagine if I got Stone House Builder? Oh my goodness. Read Stone Food four times in stage one. Definitely playing Mason's Apprentice. Yeah, that would have been that would have been something else. That would have been something else. Yeah, because I had two kind of meh clay actions, which let me build a build a clay room, but with Mason's Apprentice in hand, you know, that could have been that could have been something else. So, all right, we'll see where these guys end up. But yeah, it doesn't look like any of them are close to me. So, pretty good, pretty pretty good. Got to get prosecutor stack stats up. Also, how often do you win in a game where you draft Duck Pond and don't play it? I would imagine that percentage is extremely low. Extremely low. I have to say, uh, this game, the one play I'm pretty happy about is playing Stone Steel Plow with my last action in round 12. I think that was probably a pretty good move. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, go take a look at the draft. Although it's, what am I going to say that I should do differently? Like. I have groom and field fence overseer like three three eight four oh five So first pick fence overseer this pack was quite weak. First pick power two point five. Bricklayer actually higher, but it's drafted a position later, so Mason's Apprentice over Reed Collector. Obviously, I talked about Reed Collector, but Mason's Apprentice. When I think I, when I have Fence Overseer planning for Groom to come back, yep. Manufacturer again. Like what? What am I gonna say here, right? Like obviously the game worked out really nicely, even when I was taking lower powered cards. I had a nicely crafted game. Stone Curator coming back seventh was probably a mistake on my opponent's part. But I mean, even if I don't get Stone Curator, I take Grain for two points, so it doesn't really matter. Steel Plow. Did we see? Yeah, no, we did not see um, Clay Path. I thought I saw Clay Path, but that must have been in a different game. Steel Plow is obviously great. Duck Pond. Yeah, how often do you not play Duck Pond and still win? So Chocolate over Flower Pots. Well, I mean, Flower Pots is pretty good, but Chocolate obviously did exactly what I needed it to do in the, that game, which is kind of funny. Uh, B-Statue. B-Statue is actually at the top of this draft position. I would have thought would Strongbox, Guest, Read Exchange, all better, but they're better by power, or equivalent by power. Bamboo. Pretty happy with this wild breeding pick, not gonna lie. Two points. Although the rest of the pack was really pretty weak. Well, Woodcut's pretty good, but just not good for my game. So, All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Nothing, no update here. All right. Uh, that's going to be all for me. I'll stream tomorrow. Um, more at my normal time. This was pretty late, so more normal time tomorrow. Um, yeah. I will say thank you to Sam Folds for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Really appreciate the support. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime and you're watching this, and even and even if you don't watch Twitch, every month you get a free Twitch subscription if you have Amazon Prime. So you can you know subscribe to me on here and give me money, and I'd really appreciate it. And thank you to Sam Folds for doing that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be all for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video and we'll see you next time.